welcome to Forbidden Planet 42 and welcome to Behind the Scenes at Forbidden Planet. And I'm joined on this session by our mighty mail order manager, Lawrence Clark. How are you, mate? Hi. You're right, not too bad yourself. yourself? Yeah, I'm very well, thanks, brother. Very well indeed. So, Lawrence, mate, can you bust it down for us what the mail order manager actually does? So, briefly, our team essentially deals with um, online ordering. So, if you're ordering a comic or if you're ordering a hundred different things, then you'd come through us. Um, and we essentially help to make that as smooth as possible, um, whether it be, you know, pre-orders or uh, subscriptions or that kind of thing, it all goes through us. Um, and, you know, if there are any issues, that kind of thing, stuff getting lost in the post or damaged items, then we'll help um, keep people as happy as possible and try and make a, um, yeah, a, a smooth transaction go on. Um, so, yeah, no, it's good. It's good stuff. Yeah, and you guys do an amazing job at that. And uh, I think that's a great philosophy to having life full stop, making people happy yeah. and making things go as smoothly as possible. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, it's more difficult now with all this lockdown stuff um, of course, than, yeah. than most to keep people uh, happy, just like I mean, in life and uh, as well, uh, just in general, because like pre orders and things getting delayed, it's. It's a little bit of a, a mess, but we're doing our, you know, our very best, and uh, just want to thank people for being like so unbelievably patient, and it's just top notch. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I hear you, man, I, and I'm well said. What have been the highlights for you of your time since you've been at Forbidden Planet? Um, it's difficult to choose, actually. There's quite a few really good ones. Um, yeah, so I'd say there's been uh, there's been a few times where because we've got uh we're in charge of the instagram page um yes. so adrian uh who does uh, some amazing work taking all the the pictures and does the photography and that kind of thing um and he does a lot of the photoshopping um and there was one there was one occasion where uh, i was in one of those posts so i had my uh, i had my 15 minutes of fame uh, that was quite fun i was wearing one of the the star wars uh, pilot helmets just so happens to be Fantastic. one of my favorite um so yeah no that was good fun i quite like that um which is great i've never had so many instagram likes before <laughs> i love it so you so you got to be a tie fighter pilot for the day yes uh that amazing. was amazing fun <laughs> no, that's awesome and uh, mate what is it that you're into personally you know what elements of kind of popular culture are your personal favorites um it's a weird one it'd be it'd be better if we worked our way backwards because if we rule out the things i'm not into it's safe to say that everything else i am into <laughs> it'd be a much shorter list um it, it's a mix really music gaming uh movies tv series i think my my all-time favorites would have to be uh something along the lines of star wars um i'm also a, a big fan of uh, westerns like the good the bad the ugly fantastic um, choice yeah Ennio Morricone as well, yeah, yeah. Um, John Williams, uh, yeah. Alan Silvestri, Hans Zimmer, that kind of thing. Yeah. And then TV series, so we've got things like The Mandalorian and The Witcher um, and all sorts of uh, all sorts of great movies and, and TV which have made up. Uh, comics as well, um, so I've, I'm going through some of The Witcher graphic novels at the moment. Um, and I'm a huge fan of D&D, &D, so um, I'm looking, uh, I'm currently reading through uh, the or Vox Machina Origins, which is a graphic yeah. novel that we've yeah. also got on the site. Um, and they've announced a new pop vinyl, so I'm going to be breaking my wallet on all of those. <laughs> I, love <laughs> <It's great. laughs> I love it. My, uh, my son, who's uh, no doubt the same age as himself, has been stacking through The Witcher recently. Mm. And he's been enjoying that a lot. I mean, I, I, yeah. I love the way you pulled out. Hans Zimmer, of course, on the music side, is an amazing genius. And uh, Morricone, of course, who we just like lost within the last week. Yeah, no, so, that, that hit uh, really hard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just an uh, just an incredible oral genius. And yeah, something I'd recommend to you, mate, if you've not heard it, is that uh, I, I'm I'm guessing you might not have heard the piece that I'm about to tell you about. Of course, I love Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, like you do as well. Love Once Upon a Time in the West, like you know, no amazing doubt. film. Just an amazing film. So mm. something I would check out if you find it on YouTube is that. There used to be a long-running TV Western when I was a little kid. It ran all the way through the 60s and into right at the beginning of the 70s. It's called The Virginian, right? It ran okay. for nine seasons. And what was unusual about The Virginian, it was each episode was 90 minutes long, not, not 60 minutes long, right? Mm. And in the final season, they changed it up quite a bit. And the final season was in about 71. So a couple of mm. years after, 
spaghetti westerns had appeared and they have nice. a, ti- a time jump in the show and the, the ranch they work on which is called shiloh is run by um stuart granger for this final series of famous old um you know british okay. star actor from the 50s in a lot of swashbuckling movies like um like scaramouche and stuff like that mm. but the reason i'm telling you all this is for that final season they had a spaghetti western style theme which, oh, no. was, um, which was composed by Ennio Morricone. It's probably wow. a Morricone piece that you haven't heard, but it's you, sh- mm. you can find it on YouTube. So it's the, the theme from the Virginian season nine, Men from Shiloh. And that is one of my favourite Morricone pieces ever. I think it's amazing. So check it out, man. I, I'm sure yeah, you'll enjoy I it. I definitely will do. I've actually been, like, like you said, since he unfortunately passed, which hit yeah. most of us, well, me specifically and my family, yeah. like quite hard. Um, I was actually fortunate enough to see him in November at the O2 as well. Oh, amazing, um, mate! So amazing. yeah, that was uh, that was that was beautiful. Um, yeah. But I like there's some. It, it depends. It will go from Ecstasy of Gold. Uh, at the moment, I'm really liking some of his soundtrack from um, My Name Is Nobody. Yeah. Oh, fantastic! Um, is, Such a great yeah. film. Yeah. Such brilliant. a great film. Yeah. yeah. I love Again, that, that, film. that 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 I love that film too and it's it, that's a kind of that's a relatively overlooked film and it's a relatively mm. overlooked soundtrack. Yeah. yeah. Um, would recommend it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so so all good stuff. Yeah, so yeah, check out the Men from Charlotte theme. That's brilliant mate. And and have you got any have you got any uh any so TV shows you mentioned the Mandalorian before. Mm. You know, throughout the course of your life what do you think your favorite TV shows have been? Favorite TV show. Uh... That's tough. That's tough. Uh, <laughs> um, Mandalorian would definitely have to be one of them. Yeah, they um, did a great I, job I, with that. Me, I really enjoy The Witcher as well as someone who's read the books. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's not the most highly rated thing out there, but for someone, it's it's one of those things where once you've read the books, there's there's so much more that you understand to what's going on, um, and there's there's so much backstory, and it's. I'm really excited for season two as well. Um, other TV shows. I'm a Friends. Yeah, <laughs> really like yeah Friends. great choice. Yeah, great choice, man. I'm going through that for the umpteenth yeah. time now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, obviously we all like Game of Thrones um, as well. I'm going to kick myself a bit later because there's going to be so many that I haven't mentioned. But, but th- really, this, <laughs> but, is, this is what yeah. it's like when you speak to anybody who works with mm, us at FP. Yeah. I mean, everybody's church of interest is so broad and actually yeah. they've seen so much genre TV or genre yeah. film that yeah. it's very difficult to hone it down and make the choice. Oh, it by is. the way, mate, something I should mention is my niece, right, is is a runner on The Witcher. Yeah, she actually really? works on the show. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. yeah okay. No, for, for sure. You yeah, know, which, uh, which, is, which is filmed out here in kind of West London, you know. Mm. So, I mean, it's on hiatus at the moment for obvious reasons. Yeah, but yeah, no, she worked all the way through season one and she's just on her way high for season two at the moment. Oh, wow, says Cavill is a very nice guy, apparently. You know, so it's yeah, I mean, I think I think it's safe to say that, that like a lot of people have kind of fallen in love with him since yeah. his Instagram is probably building computers and he's yeah, um, he's doing all that weird cooking stuff and painting miniatures. And it's just like you, you nobody would have thought that this guy's doing this kind of thing, yeah, um, yeah. No, that that was that's definitely been great. But no, nah, he, he's a cool bloke. And oh, mate, before we go, have you got anything that you'd like to say to our customers at this time? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think I definitely speak on behalf of uh, of my team when I say this. I don't even have to confirm this with them. Uh, I, this is definitely a common opinion. Uh, we just want to be. We're just unbelievably thankful for just everyone's um, patience during like these really difficult times. Um, like you just, you've all been so great. Like we're getting emails, uh, which like we get quite a few. So it, it does take a little bit of time to respond. I'll admit, um, to, to everyone, but like we'll get emails just of like words of encouragement and that kind of thing. Um, and it's just everyone's patience combined with, uh, everything else that's going on with, you know, pre-orders being delayed and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, it's just, we just want to be really thankful uh, for for uh, you guys to make other people's lockdown bearable, basically. Um, so it's just a massive heartfelt thank you um, to you know make these difficult times that much easier for for other people. Um, it's just yeah, massive massive thank you. Um, that's that's all much pretty much I'd have to say. That's yeah, 
yeah, well said, brother. Here, here. So um, on that note, uh, if you've ever ordered anything from ForbiddenPlanet.com and you've been amazed and pleased with their fantastic service, it's Dan to Lawrence and all the women and men that work with him. You know, they're a great team. And, uh, you know, on behalf of all the, all the fans through me, thank you very much, mate. I, you know, you guys have really pulled it out of the hat during uh, lockdown. And I know you'll continue to do so. Thank, so thanks for making the time for us today, mate. Hey, no worries. Been a pleasure. Yeah, you take care of yourself, Lawrence. You and too. this has been Behind the Scenes at Forbidden Planet with our mail order manager, Lawrence Clark. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah.